that's where most of them fall out. The discount stuff takes your brand from the penthouse to the shit house without taking the elevator. So, what have I opened already? I've opened up uh, this one here. This one, yeah. And I'm being a bit sarcastic with this answer, but really it comes down to common sense. I mean, you would not have a, a rugby league or, or AFL football giveaway in the middle of summer. Uh, it would be a cricket bat, okay? And it's as simple as that a lot of the times. Um, I must say that if you can give away something as an incentive, we're talking about incentive-based market. So when I went through those five components of what we call direct response model, which is problem, activate problem, provide uh, uh, the, the solution, give proof, and then a call to action, that call to action, which you and I, because we're in this game, we go CTA, call to action, that's where most of them fall out. I've seen a lot of these direct response uh, agencies do pretty well with the first part, which is, you know, highlight the problem to someone and then provide them with the solution. But where they fall down, they don't have a strong call to action. Uh, they just basically still offer a silly discount, like 10 or 20%. The discount stuff takes your brand from the penthouse to the shit house without taking the elevator. So, you know, whoever wants to go down that path really needs to have a look at themselves because it's not sustainable. You can't do it every day. Big W can and Kmart can and Walmart can, but you can't. So why go down a path of price discounting, except maybe once or twice a year you want to you know, get rid of the stuff in the warehouse. But aside from that, why would you make that your first port of call? What your first port of call should be is, in my view, incentive-based marketing. Because if you get it right, as McDonald's did with a Happy Meal toy, you can get four decades out of it. <laughs>